Hello and welcome to EGW Writing's Tech Tips. I'm your host, Daryl Thompson. Thank you for joining us today in another of our series on learning how to use the EGW Writing's 2 app on the iPad. Now what I'm going to show you today and share with you is how to do a backup of your study center onto EGW Cloud, both online and offline. So you can see I have opened in front of me here the EGW Writings 2 app on the iPad. And to do a first check that you have signed into the app. So that's step number one. So I'm going to click on the little sandwich icon and I'll come back to the main menu of the side. And you can see if your name is at the top here, then you have successfully signed in your account. If you tap on that, it would actually pop up and ask you to sign out. But I, I'm already signed in and there's another tutorial that's been showing you how you create the, um, the account. And so we're not going to demonstrate that here. The second thing is, is you can go into your study center and when you run the study center, you can see here how that it is syncing. If I want to make sure that it is synced, I always like to just drag down on my study center there and you can see the synchronization is happening. Sync is now complete. So in the top right hand corner there of the screen, you can see this little tiny arrow in the cloud and you click on that for a backup. Now you've got a couple of choices here. You can create a local backup and if you do that, then it will create a backup out onto the cloud. So you need to come out here and you can click here, say on my iPad, all right, and you can click done. And what it will do, it will create a backup for you onto the iPad. If you want to do it offline, you know, out into the, the cloud sphere, in case you lose your device, then you need to click on create and restore a cloud backup. And you click on here. So once you've logged into your EGW Writings Cloud account, then you'll see here that I have a list of backups that I have created. All you need to do is create a new backup is just click on Backup Now and it'll instantly then create. So you can see here it's created my new backup. If I ever want to restore, I click on Restore. If you want to download for offline purposes, you can just go to the website cpanel.ewwritings.org and Backups in the menu to do this from any computer. You can click on Download and then you can click here to, yep, there it is. It's coming down as a zip file and it's stored and you just say, okay, I want to open it in and I'm going to come over to here and click on OneDrive, say for example, upload to OneDrive and it's uploaded. Or you could have choose iCloud, whatever method you want to upload it to, now it's done and you can save it. Okay, I'm going to click done here to come back into the app. That is how you create a backup. If you ever want to do a restore, then you just need to click here, you know, do the restore the local backup. You click on the one that you want. And I don't want to restore at this point. You just select the one you want. And when you select that, you go through the on-screen process of restoring it back into your study center. Okay, so that is how you create a backup and how you do a restore for EGW Cloud and your study center on the iPad. Thanks for joining us in another tech tip. I hope this has been a useful one, especially it helps you avoid that disastrous situation if you ever happen to lose your device or if you ever happen to break it or something goes wrong. If you've made a backup, then you are safe. Thanks for joining us now. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.